In today's episode, Sauce makes a noise. Uh, uh. 12 brave kids. Courage is often the still voice at the end of the day that says, I'll try again tomorrow. And Bella drinks even more. G'day guys and welcome to the Freo Newsroom. And as you can hear, winter is definitely well and truly here and uh, we're all rugged up in our uh, onesies, thanks to the team store. Exactly right, we're coming off a gutsy win against the Tigers. There were some big heroics in the game and none more so than our little Hayden Bellantyne. And what about the courage of Alex Silvani? Silvani in real pain, he looks like he's going to hobble straight to the bench. Oof, that looked like it hurt, I wonder what he was thinking. Well, funny you say that, Krause. The Channel 7 boundary rider was actually right next to Sauce when this happened, and uh, luckily for us, his mic was on. So have a listen to this. Hey, what's for dinner tonight? Ribs. Did someone say ribs? I'll have five. <laughs> now, we made light of that, but that was very brave as usual from the sausage. Speaking of brave people, this year was the 20th AJ Diamond Club Bravery Awards. Where 12 kids are acknowledged for their courageous stories from the children's wards. Stories like 15 year old Jake Birking, who has undergone 22 surgeries to insert plates and pins into his leg. Wow, and it's a great initiative by the club, and each first year player presented them with their awards. Yeah, I guess it kind of puts life into perspective, you know. We, we kind of live the footy life every single day, so it's nice to take a backward step and just kind of get to know people that have had trouble with their lives. And I guess it's really inspiring for us as footballers, but not only to learn about their stories, but to feel like we're a part of it. So now, Brady Gray spoke really well at his media conference the other day, but I was a little worried about the rabid creature behind him about to swallow his head. <laughs> <laughs> Probably not the best head to be putting on a banner. Maybe he actually thinks he's that big in real life. Maybe that will explain why he actually thinks he can fit into big spots clothes. Yeah, well, have a look at these photos that Mick Barlow and Lee Burr put up on their Instagram. And everyone's favourite part of the show, it's weather time for this week. So if anyone needs to go and take a quick break, <laughs> zooms in with the weather, so go now. Well, that should have given you plenty of time. Welcome to the weather. Obviously, uh, I report on 23 sunny days all the time, and it's uh, good to change it up a little bit for this weekend. This is vision from training on Tuesday. Look at that weather. We had to sandbag rookie Michael Wood in fear he would blow away. The weather would continue until the game, so bring your ponchos. And that's the weather. Back to you, Ryan. And Garrick. Tremendous work there, Zoom. <laughs> that's it for the Freo Newsroom this week. We'll leave you with vision of Pab's Super Goal from the weekend. Oh, what's this be a team lifter? Matthew Pavlich, he's 